Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about that what is archive tool and why do we need the archive tool in the service now and how we can place the archive tool. So let's start one by one. So today we'll talk about first what is the archive rule. So archive rule is like a special type of mechanism that can allow you to move your data from actual table to the archive table. So what is the actual table? So you can see that this is our incident table. And in this table right now, 70 data is present as you can see in the bottom. Now let's say that there are around uh, 1 million data into the incident table. What will be happen? The table will be a little slow day by day. So what archive rule allow you to that? If your data is older data, maybe more than one year or maybe more than six months, you can move this data from um, incident table to archive table so that this table can be much faster than earlier. And in case if you need those data, you can go to this archive table and verify that data. And in case if you need to do something, some operation, you can then move back from archive table to the actual table. So basically, the main idea is that the data will be not be present to the actual table in the main incident table or main table. Uh, but if in case you want to verify something, you can go to this uh, archive table and verify something. So which data are already, uh, you know, older data. In that way, we can keep our data longer time. Let's say that something, some incidents, our duration is maybe two years old. So we don't need that two year old incident at all. We just need to verify purpose. We just need to we check maybe in future uh, for one or two eyes. Okay. In that case, we can move the data from actual table to the archive table. So let's see how we can do the archives. The first thing you can see that this is my incident table. And in this incident table, if I put a condition called state is closed, and I, I can put that called closed date. So I'll say that closed before six months. So any data before six months create uh, closed, I, do, I want to archive them. So if you can see that there are around eight data which are um, actually closed six months. And I don't want to be present that data to my incident or actual table. I want to move that data to archive table. For that, we can create a archive rule. Okay, so let's see that how we can create the archive rule. To create an archive rule, in the left side, you have to type called archive rule. And you can see that there are multiple uh, modules are there. But as you can see, the first thing called archive rules, you can open the archive rules. And you can create a entry here into this um, table. But before you creating anything, you can search that in your existing table, is there any archive rule are there? And that condition is actually satisfy for your condition or not. And then you can utilize that existing uh, record also. So for our case, I'm going to create a new archive rule. So I'll click the new button and then I'll try to create a new archive rule. Okay, so this is the new form opens. The first thing we have to put the name. So we'll put the name called incident um, uh, older than six months. We had to define the table name. So let's say that I'm going to put the table name called incident. And once we put that table name, you can define the condition. So we'll say that uh, state is closed once you save that what will be happen uh, a record will be created here you can see okay and then um, what will be happen system uh, you need to be activate this archive rule so you can see that this archive rule are inactive you have to activate this archive rule so we'll just go and then activate this archive rule now you can see that system will automatically pick this archive rule and then it will be try to archive as you can see in the top it's showing that next archive occur in 43 minutes so it means that system will automatically archive the data after 43 minutes and it defined or it said that when it will be run so which is nothing but the 43 minutes time so system will automatically archive this data within that some time okay now if you want to archive that data immediately you can select this run archive now what will be happen your data will be automatically archived now if you want to uh, estimate that that filter that you have put is correct and then uh, if you want to estimate that what is the uh, actual um, count you can click that recalculate archive estimate the system will calculate that um, archived estimation as you can see right now it's blank but this will uh, calculate the estimation and then it will show here so if i refresh here 
as you can see that right side record estimation is showing eight so it means that eight data is going to be uh you know archived from actual table so this is our actual table called incident underscore list okay now um we can wait for eight minutes uh we can wait for this time or else i'll click that run archive now and what will be happen the data will be archived immediately so as you can see that in the right side it's showing that archive run and it's showing that primary total count is eight and then state is completed it means that the archive is completed you can open this uh, archive run and you will be able to see that archive log will be show like which all incident it actually archived okay um so now if i go back here in the incident table and if you uh, refresh that you can see that there are no record present inside this incident table actual table now question is how you can find out that um, you know data or how you can find out that archive data to find out the archive data what you can do that you can copy this table name actual table name our case the incident is the table name and then you can put ar underscore then table name so er stands for archive so er underscore uh, the table name and then if you hit enter this will open that um, your archive table and there you will be able to see your archive data so as you can see that these are the data right now we have archived from our archive rule and they are showing here into the archive table and if you want to verify that data in some cases like what happened to that time old incident you can check and verify from this archive table and in case if you see that this data is needed actually you can restore the data uh, so what will be happen this data will be moved back to the actual incident table so in this way we can reduce the load of the actual table and then uh, we can move the data from um, you know actual table to the archive table that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day